Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Welcome to the Year End Umpire Awards. We're going to begin with a quick look at our statistics and saber metrics from the year, starting with replay review totals. As you can see by this chart, the majority of replays stood or were confirmed, but the plurality were overturned. Also available are the replay review rankings by umpires sorted by the overturns, just a raw number. We also did review affirmation percentage, which is simply the upheld amount divided by the total. We did the inverse for teams, where team success percentage is simply how good or successful a team was at challenging. And finally, the most common reason for challenge was what we call for simplicity's sake, force at first, which is not the rulebook language I know, that's a separate video, but it's the colloquial safe out play. All of these statistics can be found on our data page linked in the description. Now on to the awards. begin with Crew Chief of the Year. Alan Porter wins this one for a strong performance in his first season as a full-time chief. Not just plate scores or replays, but for situation handling, stepping into the role of a crew leader. Alan Porter worked the National League wildcard series in the postseason. The most improved umpire is Andy Fletcher, who took on additional crew chief responsibilities during the season for his efforts Fletcher received his first career League Championship Series assignment, working a plate in both that round as well as the wild card in which only three of those six umpire crews are assigned plates. 2023's fill-in of the year is Ryan Wills, who worked a lot of games, was not that noticeable, and nails behind the plate. Thanks to Duckin for that description. He had one of the best RAP review affirmation percentage performances this season, at 682. That's a higher score than most full-timers and call-ups alike. The Bernice Guerra Honorable Umpire of the Year is Jeff Nelson, who retired and asked the league humbly not to work any postseason assignments this season, didn't want to be that distraction, just wanted to end at the end of the regular season with the Angels and A's, who also didn't make the postseason. Congratulations on a successful 27-year umpiring career. Promising umpires this year are Ben May and Jansen Visconti, both of whom worked the 2023 Division Series. They were remarkable on review affirmation percentage, 688, 692. Those are remarkable numbers, really positioning themselves to succeed and advance in the future. Before we get to our umpire of the year, it's time for everyone's favorite sidebar, ejections of the year. We award Doug Eddings for his ejection of Dave Martinez back in June. Really? Yeah. You're going to go there? Yeah, we're going to go there. Well, whoever said it, then we're not going to do it. This may not end well for Davey. Okay, you're done. There he goes. And Laz Diaz's ejection of Aaron Boone in August. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, well, I'm throwing you out. Oh, we're going to town. And Diaz giving it as good as he's done. Then he's mimicking Laz Diaz. He was mimicking his strike call. And now the 2023 umpire of the year is Quinn Walcott. He had the highest cumulative plate score on staff this season, including the best seasonal score since modern era tracking began in 2015, and received his first career World Series assignments coming out of the Division Series two rounds earlier. Congratulations to all Umpire Award recipients. Thanks for watching. Visit us online at closecallsports.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the site.